Headed off to wash the wipey's truck. Just a bunch of spots from uh, the water at our house. Apparently it's not that great. So we're gonna go to the wash and get that all taken care of. Yeah, it's horrible, wow. We'll get it taken care of. Second gen life. Thing is freaking smooth as butter going down the road, you know. On our way to wash her truck down, not gonna get any of that on video here, but I am gonna show you once we get back to my parents, like once we get the spots off, because I showed you the spots, just wanna show you that we got them off. And those of you who watched the previous video know that Joshua bought a second gen for 7,500 bucks, 180,000 mile truck, fairly clean other than some minor body rust, and we're gonna get to going over there and helping him out with a couple of things that he needs to get done on it. He's working on an oil change, which he should have done by the time I get there, and then he needs to have the idle increased on his truck, because his truck is idling at like 350, and so every time he gives it a little throttle, and then lets off, truck dies. So we're gonna fix the idle problem on a truck, hopefully, and then if there's anything else we need to get done, get it done. See, I told you we'd get those spots off. We got most of them off. We got them mostly gone. I don't really, can't hardly see them. You'll finally, you might find a couple here and there that we might not have been able to scrub, but not too bad, not too bad. Jeshua did just arrive, and so we're gonna get to working on the idle with his truck. This morning, we went to take this truck and go to Sportsman's Warehouse get an e-collar for the dog. When I turned it on and I started driving down the drive and then I lifted off the gas completely, the truck just lope, lope, boof, dead. And then it did it again and then I was reversing it earlier and it did it. Then I just drove it over here and it almost did it but it's not quite dying so basically you're turning the throttle screw up a little bit. Yeah, the idle is I'm really low. The idle screw. Yeah, the it's idle idling, screw. just so everybody knows, his truck's idling at like 350. Factory, I think, is like 450, 550. But we usually like to keep ours around 650-ish. But you don't want them at like 1,000, because otherwise, it's all mechanical. So it's just like revving yeah. through the roof. And then when you shift it into gear, it's just like, and it'll like, yeah. it'll mess up your stuff over time. Not like instantly, but over time, it'll wear stuff down faster. But you don't want it so low that when you rev it up and let it off at low speeds, it kills your truck which is what it's doing. So it's back in there, not really good camera angle. Crank this baby over. Feels like you went up in one bit. Should I put it in here? Well, see what happens. I mean, you can. It's still pretty low. I think we got it. We're cruising at about 650 RPM. Yeah! Back in working order. No more low idle. Well, still idles low, but it doesn't bog off. We're gonna pick up the video tomorrow when we continue on with this vlog. Until then, stay tuned. Catch you back in a sec. It's another super, super duper windy. Yeah, we got the tradesman all freaking polished up finally. I think it was freaking, it was, it was getting pretty cluttered for the longest part. But uh, we're getting ready to start the tradesman up. Big day for the truck. Big day for that car hauler back there. Because we're actually going to be using it for the first time. Legitimately. Like, I mean, we put mulch on it before like three, 4,000 pounds, but yeah, this is the next level. These cameras, I'm telling you guys, it's sick. I'm actually thinking about converting this whole system here to the Uconnect system, so it's actually like really dope, like the 8.4 inch Uconnect system, because apparently it's not that hard. The head unit's kind of expensive, but it's not that bad. This is like cheating. Like look, <laughs> like you just back it up, there's the ball, there's the ball. Bam. All we gotta do is drop it on. Look. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, guys. It's just, I love driving the 12 valves and stuff, but after having something like this for like ease of use, it just makes everything so much easier. Like, oh, I haven't started this truck in probably, uh, Two weeks probably, so we're gonna see. All I really do is leave these loose, and then I just set them on there when I wanna start it, because there's no doors or hood, so we just run all the power to all that stuff that's supposed to be on there with the sensors, and then kill it. So we're gonna get this thing fired up, 
and hopefully smoothly loaded on the trailer. Here's the thing you gotta understand. Some of these trucks are not worth saving, but this truck I feel like is worth the money to save. I just feel like it's too good of a platform to just dispose of it and get rid of it. I could have just bought it, turned it into just a complete destroyer toy and just like ruin it. But I didn't want to do that. I felt like this truck needed the proper justice of being restored. Perfect, beautiful shape, drivable, and just a fun, beautiful truck again. And I don't know how great it's gonna turn out. I know that Miguel does good work, but this thing, this thing is gonna need a lot of work. A lot of work. I mean, it, it's, yeah, a lot. It's gonna be a big job, but uh, I think it looks worse just because there's no doors, hood, or fender on it. But I think if I would've bolted all those on, it wouldn't have looked so bad or overwhelming. But I don't know, we'll see, and uh, I'll let you know what he says. We are gonna be picking up the regular cab six speed that I just bought. We're gonna go pick that up today too. When we drop this off, we're gonna pick that one up, and we'll show you that as well. So a lot of big stuff happening today. I think it'll be worth it, guys. It might not look like it now, but I think it'll be worth it. I don't know how uh, it's gonna pull yet. This is the first time hauling a truck behind this thing, but it's on. Let's get it all strapped down and uh, do some double checks and uh, triple checks and just make sure we're all good to go. Truck and trailer are all loaded up, strapped down, chained up, ready to go. But this is the last chance for me to tell you to enter to win this giveaway truck before it's gone. It ends tomorrow, May 7th at 11.59 p.m., which is basically midnight. Um, or if you're seeing this on May 7th, the giveaway ends tonight at midnight. So if you wanna get your entries to win this truck, we have a 20X entry deal we've never done before, and you can take advantage of that right now. Every $5 you spend on any of the apparel, whether it's hoodies, hats, shirts, keychains, lanyards, every $5 is 20 entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. Thank you so much for entering. We really appreciate your support. So here we are all loaded down, all strapped up. To get on the road because not only do we have to drop this truck off we have to pick up the new six speed that we bought so hopefully this goes smooth first truck i'm pulling well first vehicle i'm pulling behind the car hauler so we'll see how this goes getting on the road here we're going to take it nice and easy i'm not really in any kind of a rush so we're just going to take it nice and slow and uh hopefully not have any kind of delays or accidents or anything like that. So I thought this was kind of cool and you guys might like this. We're about to make a turn, so let me let off the fuel and listen to the exhaust break. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it sounds so cool. Almost made it. <laughs> I thought for a second there, I was like, man, did my straps come undone? And I'm like looking back all paranoid, freaking out, like, because I was in a bunch of traffic and, uh, they didn't. I moved my mirrors down and I can see that my hooks were still on and they were all tight. So anyways, we're gonna unload this thing over here and get the new truck loaded up. I'll probably show you the new truck glimpses of it when it's on the trailer, but full reveal once we get it back to the house. Well, first gen is gone. The six speed is picked up. Pretty excited about this one, guys. Oh man, he's painting the new grill, which is gonna be a huge factor as to the look of this truck, but um, it's, it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna get this thing back home and unloaded and we'll give you a full rundown on what he did with the truck and what her plans are to finish it off. There it is in all of its glory. So we're gonna get this thing unloaded and we're gonna not only show you a little more in depth what he actually did um, in terms of the overall paint match stuff, but we're also gonna work on explaining to you guys what the overall goal is for this truck and go into detail as to some of the things that we're gonna be doing to it.
the trailer's all unhooked, all good to go. I gotta find a place to haul that thing off once I once I'm done getting the interior out of it. Here's the truck, here's the stick, the six speed. It's a beauty. So he got the bumper color mesh. He color meshed the front bumper. It's a black forest green. Like I said, it looks black when it's cloudy. When it's super sunny, it kind of sparkles a little green. It's got a little bit of green flake. It's basically like a black base paint with some green flake in the paint itself. Mirrors, of course. Mirrors are all color match because I told him I wanted those done. It turned out really good. Then he did the rear bumper as well. Like I said, he does it a uh, way to where it's basically working down that chrome and then roughening the surface, primer, paint. It's not as fun apparently, but it, you know, he makes it work and he makes it look good. So it looks great. Couple of things that we're gonna be doing to this truck here that I'm gonna give away and some I'm not. The thing I'm not gonna be giving away is the grill for the truck. The grill, some of you may expect this, some of you may have no idea what we're doing, but essentially I got something for the front end of the grill that you couldn't option on this truck. Let's just say that you couldn't option it on this truck. It's going to look so, so sick and he's getting ready to paint it right now and it's not going to look anything like what you see here. Same with the headlights. It's not going to look anything like what you see here. Fog lights. I might keep these fog lights, but just have them tinted. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking about doing is just tinting the fog light lenses so that um, it matches what we're going with for the front end, the headlights and all that stuff. And for the tail lights, let's just say that the tail lights are a factory OEM Mopar option, but not for this truck. And that's all I'm gonna leave for you on the tail lights. Just so you guys can have something to look forward to for the next videos. It's gonna look really sick though. This truck looks pretty plain Jane right now, other than you're like, oh cool, it's got color match bumpers and mirrors. Um, but it's gonna look so, so sick when it's done. You guys are gonna love it. And some people are asking me about the whole delete and tune type thing. I don't I don't know if I really want to do that with this truck just because everything is so much more regulated now than it was. It was already technically you're not supposed to do it, but now it's like really, really, really regulated and I would just hate to delete this truck and then have problems because people see me on social media. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm all over Facebook ads, Instagram, and YouTube, and just all over the place, and I would just hate for somehow to get traced back to me and then have that issue i just would rather not deal with it but if there was a way to do it to where it wasn't a problem absolutely i would love to do that in terms of the interior there's a few things that i'd like to do one of those things being a new infotainment system and when i say that i'm talking i would love it if this truck had either a the 8.4 inch uconnect system in this truck to kind of go with the more up-to-date modern um, option of gauge cluster. I just feel like it would really make it look better, not to mention with the black leather interior that we're planning on doing with this truck, it would just make it look so much, so much nicer. Um, but I also thought about, they make a system that essentially takes up this whole spot. You see this big plastic panel here? All the way around, all the way up around. It's basically one piece. Apparently under this little tab up here, there's a couple screws you can take out and you can loosen this up and they basically just pop some clips out and then you can replace this whole thing with a big screen that's almost like the 2019 Rams had. So let me know, do you guys think it's something that you'd like to see on how to do that with one of these trucks or not? It's not gonna be the exact same as that, but it's very similar and it would be a very cool modification to the interior just because I want this truck to really stand out as like completely aftermarket one of a kind like you can't get a 2015 with that huge screen okay you can't get a 2015 regular cab tradesman with leather interior you know what i'm saying like all the stuff that like you can't get from factory i want this truck to have but i want it to seem as if it's a factory setup but it's not it does that make sense so it's like it has high-end features that newer or more modern factory trucks come with if they're a higher trim but put it into this truck just to kind of make it stand out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, let me know what you guys think on that. And in terms of wheels and tires, we did actually go with forces for the wheels and tires. So stay tuned for that. It was just one of those setups to where I think it's gonna look really freaking good on the truck. It's a happy medium and I'll explain why I'm saying it's a happy medium. Once you guys see the set, they should be here within like, I don't know, a few days maybe a week at the most, but 
it's just it's gonna be super sick and you guys are gonna love it it's gonna look really really awesome well everybody that's gonna put an end to this video hopefully you enjoyed the towing content the color match reveal the working with Jeshua on his truck there was a lot of time that went into this but thank you guys so much hopefully you guys enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed the videos if you want to see more subscribe if you haven't done so yet if you want to see more content on the channel hit the bell for the notifications I will catch you guys in the next video last reminder if you want to enter to win this truck this is the last time you're gonna see me on YouTube before this truck is gonna be over it's going to be getting sent off to one of you guys. So thank you guys so much. Every $5 is 20 entries to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. Links is in the description below. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.